So welcome back friends to another lovely day on the homestead, another beautiful sunny day and we're back down in the forest sharing some forest stewardship. Now, yesterday we, uh, well we tried uh, the rope method for gathering up limbs and I have to say it was a complete fail. Yes, I know there's gonna be comments to say, well I use it all the time or I do it. And it, it would probably work if you're talking about a small bunch of branches a little bit, but I had a pretty, it wasn't that big, but a pretty big size and it was, you know, a complete waste of time. So the second most suggested, most suggested uh, method would be, hey, you're wasting your, you're wasting your time uh, gathering all that stuff up. You've got that great big rhino brush hog on there. That thing will pulverize that stuff. You'll automatically turn everything to mulch, and you won't have to move anything. I thought, man, that would be a good idea and handy if it would work. So we're going to try that. We're going to take this ponderosa pine over here and we're going to limit and I'm just going to cast them all out. I'm going to cut them off and throw them out. We're going to go round and round and round with the, with the, uh, the rhino uh, mower and see if indeed it does pulverize it into uh, or mulch it and uh, to a point where we don't have to move it anymore. So let's get to work. Now I'm not pessimistic by nature, but if I had to guess what's going to happen is it's going to make a big mess that I'm going to, I'm going to wish that I hadn't made that I'm going to end up cleaning up, but I could be wrong. So we'll find out here. So what the plan is here is rather than put them all in a pile, we don't want to do that. You know, then you can't drive over a pile is to, is I'm just, fanning them all out so they're kind of going out like a like a starfish here and then we'll we'll drive <laughs> we'll drive over top of them and uh, it might take a few passes I don't know what it's going to do to the big woody stuff but it might break it down enough to to make a pass I just I don't want to have too much fuel on the ground in case there's a fire but uh, we'll see All right, so all the branches are cut. We have, as seen from the air here, we have a halo uh, of branches around there. I threw all of the, the butts out. Now the plan is, is to take the, the rhino br brush hog and go around and around a couple times and see if that will just mulch everything up. Then we don't have to burn, we don't have to deal with it. It's good for the soil. Sounds, sounds reasonable. I am uh, a bit skeptical though. So for those of you who don't know what a a brush hog is, or, or maybe a better term would be a rotary mower. This is a commercial grade rotary mower here, the Rhino. And it, uh, it runs off the, the power takeoff, a PTO shaft off the back of the tractor. The Yanmar is a 60, six, just roughly 60 horsepower. And this thing's no joke. Well, Mrs. W and I, when we went down to the factory uh, to spend some time with the folks at Rhino, they uh, took this very same mower and they tested it and we dropped it on a, I think it was a three inch solid steel bar that was anchored into the gr ground and it was impressive. So uh, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this if you want to watch it. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, so what, uh, let, me, let me get my phone actually. I can poke it under here and kind of show you how the, how the mechanism works. Here you can see underneath. So what we have there are two great big heavy duty swing blades that will swing and uh, on both ends and from some centrifugal force there, uh, we'll go out there and and uh, hopefully pulverize those branches. What I found with, uh, with the, uh, the, the flex wing, we've got a bigger one that's got three of these in it. It creates so much uh, vacuum or suction or whatever you want to call it, that it actually pulls stuff up and just really, it does a good job of mulching. So we've got chains in the front right there because this stuff can really fly away and chains in the rear. That will keep it from going out and, and hurting anyone. So let's, uh, let's fire it up and uh, see what happens. Here we go, friends. Dropping mower. Engaging PTO. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta engage a PTO first. All right. 
gauging PTO. We are turning in my hand there. All right, so we'll run this up to, uh, we'll go to mode B here, to 400 and 450. We can control the engine speed here. Dial that to 450, or 540 is it, 540. Wow, now that is surprising. There is literally nothing left of those branches. It's all mulch. I went around there a few times. My goodness. That is a tool that I've underutilized out here to be sure. I, and and I, I was doing a couple things wrong. First off, I had the tractor in four wheel drive, which was, you know, the front tires were digging and, you know, digging kind of trenches in the ground so i got that sorted out and then i had the the rhino mower uh trimmed wrong uh so it was uh too low so it was digging in the ground and chopping in the dirt and once i kind of got those two things figured out my goodness it just destroyed everything and those are some pretty big branches i mean look at the biggest one that we had here give you a comparison you know right there that's that's all of four inches four and a half inches maybe that's some pretty and there's another one down there you know that's pretty big that's some pretty woody stuff and it's it's just gone I didn't pick up anything it's just all turned into mulch incredible that's incredible I I had no idea that um, those uh, mowers would do that that really surprises me I thought it was going to fling a bunch of branches all over the place and I was gonna to have to go around there and pick them up and this yeah it it does definitely doesn't leave it it's not leave no trace <laughs> but the reason the why the ground is all chewed up is because I had the four-wheel drive on and I had the the mower too low that was not that was that was user error my goodness that is impressive we could literally just throw cut branches and throw them on the ground and just drive over them with the with the brush hog. I had no idea. I wonder what would happen if we just backed up to uh, to that big old pile over there. What what uh, if we could just chew it all up and not have to burn it? I mean, it's far superior to mulch than to burn. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Maybe that will make a good video. <laughs> I think that the mower is up to the task. Wow, that is surprising. Uh, there was other, something else that I did wrong. What was it? Uh, I wanted to point out. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I know what it was. So, I, yeah, it was kind of foolish to try to drive over top of them because those pine branches are so springy. Uh, what worked better was to go backwards. Uh, I went backwards, and then the wheel kind of pushed them down and, and just chewed them all up. So if I was to do it again, I, I noticed, because there's a lot of, a lot of hoses and different things up there that are kind of fragile. And I, I saw some of those branches going up in there and I thought, oh, I don't want that. So uh, regrouped and you want to back into it. But I'll, I'd be amazed to see what would happen if we just raised that up there and just started picking away at that. And uh, if we could chip that whole pile over there, which is pretty substantial. Boom. <laughs>
Boo. 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 My goodness, the sweet loaf. Boy, she... <laughs> I, I, I have, uh, we have enjoyed her so much. She is the, the cutest thing. I, I know we're totally biased, but then there's nothing worse than watching other people's kids. But, uh, well, I, I just had to share it with, share it with you. It's, uh, fun to see her, uh, changing and, um, uh, and, uh, discovering the world is pretty amazing so um i've got uh i'm going to start sharing uh, some of my favorite things that i have found uh that will directly link to our amazon store now you remember that wranglermart.com is a store I opened up that had uh, my favorite things my edcs and and tools that uh, heritage tools and tools that i have uh, grown up with that i really like and also a lot of answered answers a lot of questions to those of you hey where'd you get that axe or where did you get those goggles or this and that i put it in there uh, the second side of it is uh, of it is it helps us to support our channel when you buy on amazon through our affiliate link we make a, a small percentage on that and it helps to support the channel now what i'm thinking is if we could get away from the youtube ads which are as of late have not really been in line with our uh, philosophy um, and i think most of you who watch as well and some of you have reported back to me that there's some anti-second amendment stuff and some um, you know just some anti-christian stuff uh, and you know i don't have any control over that however the i guess the downside is is that those that money is required is what we need to keep this channel to support it to keep it running so uh i'll try we'll, we'll try a little something different we'll uh, i'll drop in some some of my favorite edc items or different things in the in the end of the videos um and uh, if there's enough people who uh uh, purchase those and it supports the channel maybe we can get away from those objectionable ads so today's item that i want to feature is uh, something that has been a long time coming i love tool rolls uh, the first one that i started using was from um, the recycled firefighter and i don't believe he's make them anymore so i went on a hunt to try to find a good one and carhartt is building a really great tool roll Sorry about that, Miss Pants and uh, the Heart Racer. Uh, and this is uh, it's twenty four dollars on Amazon. It's really good quality. You can get it in brown or black, and it's got the nice fast text buckles. And this is just perfect to have something kind of grab a go or to put in your truck uh, if you want to carry it on a motorcycle. Um, it's just really nice. And Carhartt makes good stuff, and it's always a good value. So you can go to WranglerMart.com if you'd like to purchase one of those and support the channel. Don't forget to click the thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next video.